This is the smallest sensor on the smallest breakout board I ever encountered. It's a BMP 280. As you can see, this little chip here is a sensor. And this little thing on this little breakout board. Even the pin header are bigger than the whole board. I guess even I have to bring it close to the camera. Yeah, you can see this small chip is a pressure and temperature sensor. If you want to compare it to another sensor, this is a DHT22. It's also a temperature and a humidity sensor. You can see, definitely a matter of size. As you probably can see, you can connect the sensor via SPI or I2C. But since I prefer I2C, let's go with this. So let's solder the pin headers and try connecting to the Arduino. The sensor is on this side of the breakout board, but the markings of the pins are on the other side. But lucky me, I brought a second sensor. So we can flip this one and wire this up. Okay, VCC goes to 3.3 volt out. Yep, yeah, this one is a 3.3 volt and won't work with 5 volts. The next one is ground and uh, here we have the ground pin. And the I2C pins of the Arduino, the SCL, the clock, is pin 5, analog 5. And the SDA is pin 4. That was pretty easy. Let's see if this even works. So let's see if there is already a library for us. Let's search for BMP. Oops, BMP. Here's the BMP 180, not the one we are looking for, but close. BMP 280, yeah, by Adafruit. That's the one we want. Let's hope there's an example delivered with it. Oops. Adafruit BMP library, BMP 280's test. Perfect. It's already configured to I squared C. Perfect. So what we're we waiting for. So let's upload the sketch. Open the serial monitor. And it didn't work. Fuck. Well, it looks like the sensor I bought has an, another I2C address than the default one for the sketch. But with the help of the, with the, help of the library I2C detect, I found out that the I2C address for this sensor is 0x76. And now the sensor works. Let's check if the values make any sense. Here I have my analog temperature sensor. It shows about 23 to 24 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that seems quite to fit. And an altitude of 210 meters. Hmm. I don't think this is correct. 
Well, with the help of some websites, I found out I'm at 68 meters above sea level. Not about 210 meters. Well, must be low pressure today. If you buy those sensors from China, you get them for about 1 euro 50 each. I think that's a fair price. If you want to build a weather station, this sensor would be ideal. Since it works with 3.3 volts, it also works with the ESP8266. So you can make your own IoT weather station. Bye.